The second half of the Major League awaits us, so let's get right back into it, shall we? I think I'm actually gonna eat the cake. Why not? That looks totally yummy. I bet if if you chow on that, I bet you can ride the sugar rush. The cake? Heck yeah. Yeah, let's eat. You fully recovered. <laughs> it's funny how even Maury recovered when only Gumbella seemed to have eaten the cake. Well, that's something. Alright, who are we fighting against next? Ranked 5 in the group split, the Magic Koopa Masters. Now listen son, in this battle I want you to avoid using your hammer, not even once son. I want to see how you do when you ain't got something to beat a fellow with. Alright. I'm gonna show you some acrobatifying. Alright. Three magic Koopas, okay. The Underworld Servants, yep, a fight to the finish with the Magic Koopa Masters. You fool would do well for uh, to fear our dark magic. Alright. Let's see what they have to offer for us. I think I'm gonna Go with Kumbella first. The red magic people. That's the red magic Koopa. It's a Koopa with a dress in red. Maximum HP is 7. Attack is 4 and defense is 0. Besides using offensive magic, it can also use magic to boost attack and defense. When it's alone, this wizard will use magic to multiply. The fact that you can't tell which is the real one after it multiplies is super annoying. I have to say though, that shade of red is definitely not its color. Power bones. No, oh, of course. No, not head bone. Tattoo on the white magic Koopa. That's a white magic Koopa, it's a Koopa who is dressed in white. Maximum HP is 7, attack is 4 and defense is 0. It attacks with magic, it can replenish its allies HP. Better hit it first, huh? Oh, this also says it will use magic to make copies of itself when it's all alone. Which is totally annoying. Obviously. Okay, I'm gonna take care of the red one before it's too late. Perfect. Six damage. On the green one. That's a green magic Koopa. It's a Koopa with a dressed in green. Maximum HP is 7. Attack is 4 and defense is 0. It has magic attack is attacks. It can also use magic to make itself or allies electrified or invisible. Okay. Spin jump? Oh, that might be perfect, actually. That might be really perfect, because Power Rush... If I type it well, I can take care of both of them in one turn. Perfect! That was easy. That was perfect. Couldn't have done it any better, honestly. The power rush timing was actually beautiful. Mario! Hello, Bowser. What are you doing here? Whoa! Another fighter storming and screaming his fool's head off about something. Gonzalez has lots of foes, folks. Someone who doesn't even know his name. Will he live? Word in the street was that some mustache doofus was in Glitzville, and look he here. 
talk about perfect timing, and now all these fools get to watch me moralize you. That's too many witnesses for my liking. <laughs> I'm gonna destroy you and have witnesses. Ooh, I think I have to use Sweet Treat immediately. I need to heal myself. I'm not gonna risk Power Rush on this. Alright, 6 HP and 7 flower points, that's beautiful. Oh, I even needed the flower points, I didn't even notice that. Anyways, tackle on Bowser. What do you have for me? That's Bowser, but what's he doing here? My man just blew a fuse. Maximum HP is 30, attack is 3 and defense is 1, he's uglier than I expected. Dale. He's got a poisonous spike, so watch out, it'll make your HP decrease gradually. Also, if he grapples you, you won't be able to use one of your commands. Just focus your attention on beating him down, Mario. That was immediate. No cheap bong? No, I'm just gonna use a regular head bong. And I think I'm gonna do my usual strat and just charge with Mario. Wait, so I need to think real quick. So I'm at six and f four and six right now, so ten. I need to charge a lot actually. So now it's fourteen. Why did I use Tattle? Why did I use Tattle? Okay, 18. And I think that's 20 now. So one more charge. That should be enough to take care of Bowser now. Hopefully. It's time to finish him off immediately. Spin jump. I forgot the defense. <laughs> I forgot the defensive one. Well, well, I'd expect nothing less from you, Mario. Figures you get some licks in. You're done for. <laughs> With 3 HP to spare. Okay, but the double last stand is like really helpful, I have to say. Ooh, that's our Gonzalez. You don't even beat an eye when some fool ambushes him. Tough. Here, too tough, son. And you're only getting it tougher. Stay tuned, folks. Until next time, everyone. See ya. No, I, st I still have to. I still have 20 minutes. What are you talking about? Anyways, 19 coins from that. I expected more considering I was ambushed in between. Rank number five. Do I want to go in with 3 HP? Wow! That was Bowser, right? Jeepers, who would have thought he'd show his, fear, his face here? I think I'm gonna recover. I'm not gonna risk it. Alright, who's next? Rank 4 in the, in the glitz pit. Craw Daddy. Now listen son, in this battle I want you to avoid using your jump. No jumping whatsoever. I want to see a pure test of power with none of that flouncing around, you get me? 
Alright. And a weapon or two. I can do that. <laughs> Let's see who Crawdaddy is. The Dark Gatekeeper. Yep, a fight to the finish with Crawdaddy. Foolish mortals, I'll drag you through the grade of the netherworld to the netherworld. I can't even use my jump anyways. That's perfect, I suppose. That's a dark crawl! Yikes, what a ghastly looking spear thrower! Maximum HP is 20, attack is 6, and defense is 0. Wow, that's some serious attack power! You don't want to jump on it if its spear is pointing up, because that would hurt! For a run of the mill spear tosser, he sure looks like he's got a point to make! Haha! <laughs> well, that sure was a pun. Alright, I think I'm gonna do my usual tactic of charging up. And I think the best option would be to switch to Coops for this. Yeah, I don't think Yosh would do much. Alright, I'm gonna go put Coops in the front now. Messed up the time, but I guess that works. He still goes for Mario? I tried mushroom. I think a power smash would actually do the trick already, let's see. Perfect! 1 HP to spare even. Ten circles from that. That's perfect. I guess it was really good that I actually got to heal myself. Okay, no ambush this time. That's good. <laughs> That's good. Twenty coins. Ranking goes to four. Heal myself before I continue. Or not. Um, Mario, your pocket's beeping. Mail time. Go to the telephone booth out on the pavilion from X. Oh, it's from X again, huh? The telephone booth pavilion? Does he mean outside? You remember seeing a phone booth? Well, we better go look around. Again, I'm gonna heal first and then go to the telephone booth, because I know where that was at least. It's funny how I'm switching partners with the right to even though I can do it with the left one as well. <laughs> oh, hello! <laughs> Gonzalez! Good timing, you pudgy little punk! Uncle Rokar's got some advice for you! If you keep stealing the spotlight from me, you're gonna enter a world of hurt! Quit making such a splash if you value your puny life! Ha 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 ha! Wait, what? A uh, creep! How dare he threaten us like that? Talk about low class! Wait, he threatened us! You think that hate mail came from old chicken legs? Well, who knows? One thing's for sure, we gotta watch our staff from here on out. Yeah, we really have to. That guy seems like he will do anything to stop us from getting the champion belt now. Especially after Yosh investigated his belt like a few episodes ago. Anyways, let's get to the telephone booth. Where's the safe book? Oh, there it was. Okay. I guess I can save on the way back. Actually, I don't have to. I can just do it inside again. Oh, there's a key! 
A storage key. A key that opens the storage room door in Glitz Pit. In the Glitz Pit. Huh? Who are you? Rainbows aren't cool. Hi, brother. Luigi here. How are you holding up? Okay. Go to the storage room next to Grubba's office. The storage room in the arena now? Sheesh, what's next? This guy got us all running all over. I can't take much more of this nonsense. Well, neither can I, honestly. <laughs> but I guess that's what we have to go through now. Alright then. So, the storage room. I think it doesn't matter which... I don't think it matters which direction it goes into. Like, which direction is faster. So I'm just I'm just gonna go through this direction here, and that should do it maybe. I think I see it. Yeah, pretty obvious. Oh, hello! Ah, <laughs> we meet again, you husky mustache hunk, you. You again, Miss Flutterlot. What are you fo- Are you following us or what? You know, security heard you bungling around in here. It was you, right? Oh, please. No one heard me. I'm the best mouse burglar of all time. I'm silent. It's quite obvious that someone else must have been monkeying around in here. <laughs> please. I am, like, so sure. Hush. All you need to know is I've taken what I needed. Now I'll be on my way. As for the rest, I'll help yourself whatever, to whatever you like. <laughs> and now we must point again, my sweet mustache man. Are you trying to set a world record for flirting or what? I must forgot my sweet. This arena holds many secrets, you know? You should be very careful, lest you end up like those poor souls upstairs. And with that, say goodbye to my delectable hug of cheese. My delectable hug of cheese. We shall meet again. Man, I can't do such a high voice today. What's with that burglar rat? I swear I'm gonna headbong her if she doesn't watch it. But whatever. What do you think she meant by about some poor souls upstairs? Oh. Are we gonna find out? Find the switch to reach to reach the attic from X. The switch? Is it supposed to be somewhere in this room? Hmm. I mean, what can I do then? I don't think I can like hit any of these boxes. I feel like I know where the switch could be, like right in the corner there. Can I... Hang on. Is there like anything hidden besides these posters, maybe? No. Oh! What's that? A charged P badge increases the damage your partner will cause on their next attack. Oh, that even exists for partners? Okay, well that means that's probably something beyond here then. That seems like it. That's the staircase. What's up here? Actually, let me see. Can I equip the charge P badge already? It needs one star point, one badge point. Hmm, I could exchange it for a happy heart. Hmm, I think I'm gonna buy five when your partner only has one HP left. Wearing more, than five per badge. I think I'm gonna unequip Mega Rush P for now and then equip Charge P. It's gonna be especially helpful for Coops and Goombella, I feel like. Alright. Another Shine Sprite. Oh, I see. What's this here? Oh, another badge. Can I just, like, fly over? 
I press oh, I press B. Apparently I cannot just fly over because I'm stupid. <laughs> Is it like that hard to get that badge? Apparently it was. HP plus P badge. Increases your partner's maximum HP by 5. Well, it makes sense that that badge exists as well. Alright, now what about this? Oh, that's Grubba and Miss Jolene. So you didn't find a hide of hide or hair of nobody in the storage room. That That's what you're saying? Yes, Mr. Grubba, it appeared to be secure. Don't worry about it, sir. I've taken the necessary precautions. It was most likely just a rat or something. Well, no big deal either way. Ain't nothing in there we'd miss too much anyway. Thanks for staying on top of this, Jolene. Hey, and by the way, any word on King K? I'm afraid we still don't know what the whereabouts of King K, Mr. Grubba. And so, I deleted a spot on our roster's on our roster per regulations. The Glitzbit no longer has any official connection to KPP, aka King K. I have, of course, taken the same steps with all the fighters who have gone missing. Ooh, fighters have sure been going missing a lot lately. That's the fifth this year. What in tarnation's going on? I even heard some security agents saying the pit's cursed. I doubt that, sir, but I certainly don't understand the disappearances. Well, for the time being, tell the other fellas that King K has headed on home for a, sp for a spell. If work, at all, if work gets out about missing fighters, it sure ain't gonna be good for business, no sire. Nasty, nasty rumors have a way of sending folks running to the hills, know what I mean? I understand completely, Mr. Grubba. I'll take care of everything, sir. You know, Julie, you're a dang fine manager, but just plum disappear sometimes. I gotta know, where in the world do you go, darling? Uh, that's... Mr. Grubba, I know you're my boss, but I don't believe that's any of your business. Easy. I don't mean to pry now. How about this, then? Heard of the Crystal Star? No, I've never heard of such a thing, Mr. Grubba. Okie dokie. Well, I appreciate your time, Mrs. Jolene. You go ahead and run along now, you hear? Well, if it ain't a fine, how you do so? How do you do? Seems like good fighters are b a dying breed. That's that wild child Gonzalez is just about the only draw I still got around here. Wow, Gonzalez! Whoa, did you hear that? Fighters are going missing, dude. That ain't cool. Was that guy talking about King K, the minor leaguer? I thought he retired. <laughs> hey, somebody up there? Who, oh, Nelly? Just a little mouse. Here I am thinking someone's up there or peeping. I gotta relax, take some yoga classes or something. Yep. Well, back to the ring. That was close. Wow, whoa man, we dodged a bullet there. Hey, but did you hear that guy babbling about the crystal star? That Jolene lady acted pretty guilty when she let that one slip out. Well, whatever. For now, we better bail before someone finds up up here. It's probably the best idea for now. Okay, I was actually expecting Jolene to be here already. Fortunately not. There is Gumbella. So I guess we have to continue fighting now. I guess I'm gonna save first. Just in case. Alright, who's next? Rank 3 in the Glitz Pit. Hammer, Bama, and Flare. Now listen, son. In this battle, I want... In this battle, I want you to stand pat, okay? Do not do any damage at all. Oh boy. The crowd loves your partner, so let them do the fighting instead. Give the people what they want. Now get in there and share that spotlight. I cannot attack. Oh, that's beautiful. That's gonna be real fun, actually. So I'm basically useless, or like, I can't do anything for three turns, except for, um... 
appeal. Which I can't even do anything. I can't even do anything with the star power because only Mario can use the attacks with that. The big bad brute bros. Yep, a fight to the finish with hammer, bama, and flare. My grandpappy's hammer is gonna strike you down, man. Here it comes. So I can't do anything for three turns now. That's beautiful. It's a hammer, bro! You know him! He throws hammers! Hence the name! Maximum HP is 7, attack is 4, and defense is 1! When his HP drops and he thinks he's in trouble, he'll toss a hammer barrage! Nothing about these guys has changed! They're as tough as ever, so brace yourself! Dang, this book always skips the important stuff! How do they carry endless hammers? Good question. Anyways, I think the best option is actually to defend. You know, just, um, appeal. Okay, that's actually the best strat. Fireball. That's a fireball! This relative of the hammer bro spits out fire! Maximum HP is 7, attack is 3 and defense is 1. If you get hit by a fireball, you might catch on fire, so God will, okay? But his HP gets low, he's desperate and totally starts attacking like a fiend. That one sure hurt. And lastly, the boomerang, bro. That's a boomerang, bro! This relative of the hammer bros prefers boomerangs. Maximum HP is 7, attack is 2, and defense is 1. He attacks twice with his boomerangs, and on the way out on the way out and on the way back. When his HP starts getting low, he fights all the harder. Prepare for multiple attacks. Alright, so, swap partner, I'm gonna swap to Koops. Good thing I picked up the partner, or the charge P badge. That might be really helpful, actually. Tactics, charge. I have to charge two times more. Two more times. Okay, he's dizzy at least. Defend again. Okay, as long as I can block every attack, that's good. No damage from Mario, that's good. That's really good. Alright. Time to finish them off. Power show. Whew, what a fight. 22 star points for that. I like that. Alright. Mario's ranking grows to 3. That's beautiful. Another male, okay. This is your last warning. Stop snooping around about the crystal star. If you don't, you'll suffer the same fate as the others who have gone missing. Oh goody, this guy again. He really seems to know a whole lot of stuff. Those missing fighters, the crystal star... You know, if we find this guy, we'll have the all the answers. But who could it be? I'm pretty sure that after what happened in the attic, or not the attic, the... What do we call it? <laughs> the vent. That's what it is. 
I think by that point we should know who the who the person sending us mails could be. Whatever. So I guess we're gonna get to the top of the leaderboard next time and then fight Rawcock and then see what else there is to discover in the Glitz Pit. Until next time, see ya!